This episode is brought to you by the Slash and Cast Podcast Network. Discover all of our shows at slashandcast.network. Spooky. Gonna make it super spooky. I like it spooky. Okay. Well, I've got I've got my I've got my little cheat sheet of things to my tie. I usually Are you have recording already. I'm already recording. Oh shit! Yeah, so we could we can start whenever we can we can just start. We're, I'm gonna take a nap. Okay. You go ahead and start show. Okay. So hey, what what episode is this, by the way? Didn't we just do forty? Are you talking to me? I was taking a nap. Wasn't the last one forty? Is this forty one? Was forty? I think it's forty one. Is it really? I, I don't know. I can't go I on my that. I can't go on my phone to check because I'm using it to record. We're doing. If you notice, we're in the same we're room. We're in the same room. Crazy. Uh, mm, nah, but we're in the same room. I'm just because I'm wearing like the new Bev Pride shirt. Don't try to get all handsy with me, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway, um, which I funny story about the shirt, by the way. Okay. When I bought it, yeah, I just thought it was like retro colors, <laughs> and Nay's like Nay's like. <laughs> And Nate's like, I think I'm pretty sure it's a pride shirt. And I go, I go, I don't know. I just figured it was like retro. Well, you're proud. Well, hey, I have nothing again. I'm all for gay rights and all that stuff. Yeah. Did I intentionally buy a pride shirt? No, I will confess I didn't. Okay. Will I wear it with pride? Yes, I will. Yes, you will. Because I like the shirt. That's right. So it's 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 showing my retro love for the '70s and bad colors, sure. and uh, that I support gay rights. That's right. Boom. Boom. And I'm and I have no problem with that. Spun that. To the positive thing. Yeah. Didn't I'm wanna... wearing my Halloween men's effects makeup crew shirt. Wow. Not everybody can have one of those. Nope. <clears throat> Although he did bring me one. Um, thank you, by the way. You're welcome. We're here. We're, We're here. In the same room. This We're... is weird. Yeah. We have to get used to this. It could be really awkward. Yeah. Because I'm used to staring at a screen and just playing off of this i know this is a different dynamic yeah well maybe we should turn to each other a little more maybe is this Hold on up. by the way do we are we it's on oh, okay. we're recording <laughs> i mean okay. there's a there's always the chance it fails but yeah. since we have various sources i think right. audio will you know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out okay um well we're in this awesome room your awesome room which i'll be distracted for this entire show I'll just be what just staring at stuff, and you'll ask me questions, and I'll be like, "I'm sorry, what the fuck you said?" Because <laughs> uh, there's so much awesome, cool stuff to look at in here, including some new items. Yeah, I haven't, that, uh, I haven't even told anybody in, oh, about those up there. The items over there. I think I'll keep that secret. I'm gonna drop a video. Okay. I'll drop a little vid. All right, so don't little vid. Don't uh, on the new pieces. Don't drop it for you. Yeah, keeping it right. keeping on the DL. Um, but, uh, you know, we had, a. it's been like a month and we've had a shitty month. Yeah. Um, we both lost. Shitty and good, but I mean. Yeah, yeah no, it, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I know yours is a little more recent than mine. I mean, you know, we're obviously talking about our pets that we lost. Um, yes. you know, JC and Zoe and, and Stinky Bear and Beaker. Yeah. And, um. It's uh, it was tough on both of us, big time, big time. Um, and when I talk about it, and I'm not going to talk about it right now, I do not. You don't want to see two old dudes crying. You really don't because it'll it, happen easily. It, it and it does. I already cried today talking it, about it. Oh. I went, before I came here, I visited my mom. I went to yeah. visit my mom. She lives in San Diego, and she kept asking me about it. And I'm yeah. like, Ma, I, can we not? You're killing me. And I'm. I'm Tearing up, and I'm like, I can't do this. And then I was thinking about coming to do the show. I was like, we can touch on it, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to get into the details. It, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> two old crying dudes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it several times. You know, I've done, I did three back to back to back weekends of crazy conventions. Yeah, Monster Mania, New Jersey, <clears throat> uh, Fandemic Atlanta, and then Horror Hound Cincinnati last this last weekend. Every, I mean, God. I, it made me wish I had never mentioned it because every time somebody walked away, hey, yeah. oh, by the way, I'm so, real sorry, sorry yeah. about your loss. And, yeah. and, and it's just like, it, here I am enjoying this convention. I'm in them and then they just take me out of it. And it's not, you know, and I appreciate the sentiment. It's but It's very sweet. But, and then the gifts. I start, I mean, I got a lot of gifts and 
uh, very beautiful gifts. Um, you know, a, a couple of them right here that I haven't had a chance to give you. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. It's, well, let's yeah. Let's oh not. Let's, don't even look. <laughs> don't even look at them. But but um, then this one killed me. This yeah, one. Yeah. This one. And anyway, I'll put these over there for you to Thank take you. home. Thank you. Um, let's. Not that we don't appreciate. It. We, if we dwell on them, yeah. it'll be the waterworks, and we don't need that. And it's not what you you came here for horror, not for the horror of two <laughs> middle aged guys. To see two middle aged guys crying. Yeah. <laughs> so, animals. so you just got done working on that. Yeah, I did. We finished. Yeah. Halloween ends. It's, it's it's ended. It's ended. It's done and it's done. Done and done. And it's a very strange thing. It's a very you know what i've been on these shows for five years now it's been you started in 2018 2018 so yeah okay four years yeah um i'm sure there was prep before that there was prep before 20. that in 2017 yeah. yeah so uh so i've been on these things for five years and you know it's been such a ride up and down and 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 just in it and when you have these movies lined up and you know they're coming, you kind of take it for granted a little mm-hmm. bit. And then when it's all suddenly done, and it was done at a... You were a, over it, bro. You were uh, you were fucking <laughs> over it. <laughs> this dude's like, yeah. I don't want to fucking see another Myers mask <laughs> yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah. But now that it's over, you kind of step back and you're like... I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and I still don't want to see another Myers mask for the rest of my life. But... Uh, um, All, with that said, he does want to make them for the fans. Right? I, so yes, so make sure to write him. Send me your mask, yeah. and I'll rehaul them. Yeah, he's he's, he's all about it for free. So go ahead and send them to <laughs> PO Box F U C K O F F Haddonfield, Illinois. Exactly. Uh, it, it it was uh, it was very bittersweet. Yeah. Um, very sad, but also very joyous, and yeah. it's, it continues to be so. But I'm, you know, talking to David still. I haven't left that family because we have some other projects going and and I have more things to do, a lot more things to do with them. So that's that's kind of been nice about it is mm-hmm. that it's not like that family has been cut off. We're continuing Just little to do parts it. of the family. Just parts of it. So, uh, uh, but it's, it's great. And I'm really proud of what we did and I think people are really going to dig it. I think it's different. And I was very impressed with a lot of it and what David did and Michael Simmons and everybody. Uh, so I think it's going to be cool. I'm proud of our work. There was a lot more than I thought mm-hmm. we would do. Uh, but still, um, it's cool. But it's bittersweet. You know, the Halloween legacy, The the it's done. Yeah. Like, it's done. Until and the new one. Until the reboot or whatever. Which someone or, will do 10 years from now and I will have nothing to do with it. I doubt I, it'll be that long. I do. You th- you think it'll be that long? I, I don't know for sure. So I, I don't don't start. Sp- no, we don't. Neither of us know anything. No, I'm just I saying. Know. I got a feeling something else, a TV series or something, something will happen. Hmm. I mean, I can't. You know, it's 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 like I, we've talked about this. It's like Frankenstein and Dracula and the Wolfman. It's going to keep right. going. It's going to live beyond our. Our Absolutely. Lives. No, it's definitely, it'll come back. There'll be so, Michael Myers films we never see because we'll be dead. Be Mike, yes. yes <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely right. <laughs> and to think about that is really weird, especially if you haven't been so involved in it. If yeah. You think about going, yeah, I'll be dead and they'll still be churning out something with Michael Myers. And then everyone will compare it and everyone will talk shit about, well, they already talked shit about ours. But no. uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's very surreal. It's really... I still really haven't processed it. Yeah. I mean, I've only been home just under three weeks, and I'm still kind of unpacking things, and I'm still kind of just um, thinking about it. And and because again, it the movie ended, and Beaker was really sick, and I had to get home, and there were a lot of other things going on, and and so I didn't really get to enjoy that last moment, but I did have a couple moments. Uh, and they did a lovely a picture wrap uh, for me specifically in my department on the last night of our work. So it was cool. But I th- I'm excited about it, and I think people are going to dig it. And it's crazy that it comes out this year. Like, it comes out in six months, yeah. <laughs> which is nuts. But I think you guys are going to dig it. So, uh, you know, like I always say, get some popcorn, get a soft drink, go in, see it, 
don't let, let's just take it easy with being so hard on shit these days you know it's fun it's gonna be good but anyway yeah finish that what else were we talking about um what we've been doing yeah i've just like I, i've been doing the convention thing it was like yeah. bonkers like horror hound last weekend was the biggest ever and it was it was crazy mm-hmm. like like the scream guys oh matt matthew lillard and 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 skeet ulrich uh, nev had to leave so she she had to leave at the end of the show but they stayed skeet signed two af- two this on a sunday when mm-hmm. shows usually are die yeah. yeah uh he signed two hours after closing and matt went three hours after closing wow. i mean skeet even had his flight changed just wow. just to stay because he was supposed to leave that night that's really cool that was nuts it was nuts um so it was really exhausting and then uh, the weekend before that dealing with all the drama of you know norman reedus i'm sure you heard got a concussion mm. on set mm. and wasn't able to do the convention last weekend and you know so we're dealing with all that the fans mm-hmm. you know some respectful some like what the fuck man you know <laughs> um so you know dealing with that and then they had the big dexter reunion the weekend before that it mm-hmm. was it was crazy it was yeah. it was but it was it was good it was good got this weekend off we're able to do this then next weekend i'm at steel city comic con that's gonna be fun and crazy and next weekend um, i will be at my home con. At his con. home. At my his home con. Ha- at Chris Con. At his- Chris Con. <laughs> I'll have my own con at home. So let's talk about, we got. We have to address Slapgate. Come on, because everybody's talking. I mean, if we don't talk about it, you know. What are, you, what are your thoughts I on it? We haven't dis- we have- we weren't going to discuss this, but okay. Well, we haven't talked about it no, at all, because we, we haven't spoken really in, no. in a little bit. So yeah. I just thought, I mean, I'm as a friend, I'm just asking you what you thought about the whole thing. It's kind of nuts. A lot of people ask right? me about this. I think maybe it's because I'm in the Academy. And yeah. They're, and, they're, and, and as a member of the Academy, I can't really talk that much about it. I really can't. But I will say this. I, I thought it was utterly shameful. Yeah. On Will Smith's part, and I, no. I you know, again, I'm not going to get into it much, uh, but I thought Unless he resigned. So I, I, not that that he didn't resign. That's well. a bunch of horseshit. Don't believe all the stuff that you read and see on the internet because a lot of it is is, you know, representative twisting and mm. and, and stuff like that. It's all being investigated and discussed and stuff, and it'll be a lot of time before it comes down what's really going to happen. But I, I thought it was just shameful on so many levels. I, I, I could go on about it forever. Um, I just thought there's so many ways you can discuss this. I, I huh. think that, you know, the obvious one is if that was anybody other than Will Smith, no, well, what would have happened? What would have happened yeah. if you were any other place? Yeah, other than that moment, what would have happened? And the fact that that things aren't progressing the way that I feel they should. I thought it was just terrible, just mm-hmm. terrible. I, I, I mean, look, you're in the public eye. In that position, you should be used to a certain amount of jokes and fodder and especially and have you never been like to a that. friggin award show before that's what <laughs> right. they do they roast people up right there. i i my head automatically goes to what if that was ricky gervais yeah you know yeah what, what, what would he have done that what would have happened you know i i because then that would entail the whole race card which it still does entail the race card i was watching bill maher well, Terry uh, Crews had the, been hosting the other night. Yeah, <laughs> they, uh, Will Smith went up there and do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think I was I was watching Bill Maher the other night, and he said something about he was at an after party for the Oscars, and there was a very predominant uh, African American actor who was very well respected, and someone asked him what he thought, and he said, right out of the gate, he said Chris Rock is carrying the the race the the weight of race on his shoulders. It was, it was it, 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 you know, it was all about one thing I do want to take out of it is Chris Rock's reaction to it. And mm. I thought he handled it really well yeah. as a real man. And I thought he's still handling it well. And I think um, I, you know, I kind of agree with Jim Carrey, though. He should sue his ass. Should. Oh, I would have. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, take that hit. I had press charges. Yeah. I would have done the whole thing. Yeah. 
Uh, I think, I mean, we can get into the whole reason why it happened, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Like the whole. It was a, it's such a light joke, too. I mean, really like, it, it was, I mean, bro, how thin skinned are you? I mean, obviously, yeah. he, Jada said something to him that's, you know, he had, felt like he had to get up there and defend her honor, but. Yeah. But it's like, bro, I've heard way worse. Yeah. Way worse. I mean, that's nothing. I, I the the hip the hypocrisy of Hollywood bothers me yeah. a lot about it. The whole uh, uh, you know standing ovation after. And oh, I know that that, that that's sickening to be honest with I you. I think the the celebrities that have come out supporting Will Smith's actions, I find disgusting. No, yeah. uh, because you know. There's there there was absolutely you can't justify that no. violence you just can't it was so cowardly and so tacky and so yeah. I don't know I mean he, <laughs> I've already I've, said yeah. more than I need yeah and as a member say. of the academy he can't discuss it I can't so. discuss it <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah no I I just yeah I think it's uh, yeah Chris and, Rock, Chris Rock handled it better than I would and I, I'll be honest with you, I'm no I'm no Chris Rock fan I mean I I met the guy and he was a total dick to me mm-hmm. so but at the same time he was not you know he was the victim here for sure you know yeah. um but Look, don't we aren't we evolved past the I guess we're not no. the country we live in I would like to believe nah, it's that, just getting worse and, and worse I'm myself but I would like to believe that we're evolved past the fact that we solve our problems with violence but then you have a bunch of Republican candidates that are shooting their guns at things they don't like, like TVs yeah. and radios and things, fax machines and shit. Yeah. So I don't know. I, 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 there are bigger problems in the world to talk about than fucking Will Smith, but that's yeah. not this kind of show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what's going on in the friggin' Ukraine and, and everybody's flipping out over a slap. I mean, yeah. what, it's wrong and it's, and it should be addressed, but, yeah. but yeah, it's getting way too much attention. Um, there, we addressed it. So, uh, with that said, how about, uh, you kind of seem like you're easing into a get off my lawn there. With that, like, God damn it! If you're talking about, you know, that's all I got. You don't have you know, nothing. Nothing been bothering you lately? I got a couple. Everything bothers me. Yeah, I know. Um, you got to write them down. Uh, I know. That's what I, I do? Need, I need to write them down. Uh, today, I realized I'm. Uh, I have a get off my lawn. What is the deal? And again, I have two. What's things. the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> One is, what is the deal with people at work on their phones now? Yeah. Like, let's say a gas station attendant in the booth yeah. where you go pay. Or, yeah. again, a Starbucks. or, And people are on their phone while they're doing their... And, and then you're like, yeah, can I go? I need to get the fuck... I'm, I gotta go. Yeah. And they're like, and then... If I, so then what'd he say? <laughs> and then what'd he say? And then what? And you're going... I gotta. What are you doing? You're at work. I'm mean, like, I get. If I do that at work, when did this become a thing? Mm-hmm. Like being able to do whatever the fuck you want at work. It's work. What you know? What what also bothers me though is the opposite of that. Is the person in line buying something mm-hmm. who's on their phone? Because mm-hmm. oh. I'll be in line at the at the gas station getting a soda or whatever, and person comes up and they're like. Yeah, and they're like, that's three dollars. You know, uh huh. Yeah, well, yeah, and they're just like, and I'm like behind, going, bro, put the phone down, fucking finish the yeah. transaction. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, you know, if I was behind the counter, yeah. this is, I mean, I would absolutely step back and go, oh, oh, wait till you're done. I'll just, you know, and then like put the pressure on them, right. you know, or, or like, or if you want to move aside and, you know, when you get yeah, off the I'd phone. I'd be like, oh no, all these yeah. people behind you, we'll wait. Yeah, with well, the people that aren't on the phone can come up and you can, when you're done, yeah. just, just get back in line. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd do. <laughs> Fuck them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what, lately I've been really, what's been really bothering me is, and I don't, I'm not on TikTok, but, you know, there's fucking TikTok bullshit TikTok. on, on Instagram, you know, people like, you gotta take the jacket. I gotta take the jacket. You gotta take the mic, oh, though, shit. bro. Okay, go. Fucking it up. He's fucking our shit up. No, I'm not. He's fucking our shit up right, right now. TikTok, yeah. TikTok. TikTok. Uh-huh. But but people, you know, will put it on Instagram like their little TikTok videos. Right. And enough with the goddamn videos of you <laughs> lip syncing the song. All right. Enough of the fucking. I haven't seen a lot of that. And and you're all like. <laughs> and and it's like, I, I, I'm. It's not original. Right. Nobody gives a fuck. Right. Quit doing it. Yeah. 
Um, I, I used to do that shit when I was like 10 years old with a tennis racket and yeah. a fucking hairbrush. Yeah, but I didn't video it and put it out there for everybody to see. I mean, would you have though? No. Like, put it this way. Remember back when we were doing, when we loved Kiss so much when we were like... Oh, there'd be so old? many awesome Kiss videos of me out so there. So many good Kiss videos. <laughs> I do have one though. Remember? Yeah. I do. It's on my it's on my page of me, <laughs> seven years old, dressed as Paul. We shot on Super 8. Right. So you would have done it. I totally would have been right. that guy. So then you can bitch about that. No, I can. I can. Because <laughs> I can't do it now. Um, you can do it now. That'd be an, an, another thing that's been bothering me lately is hotel room TVs. Okay. Why is it at a hotel? Yeah. And then if you guys frequent hotels, you would be aware of this. Why is it changing the channel takes so long? Like, it's literally like... I mean, it's like, it, it takes so long to get, like, if you're trying to find something on. Do you on. think it's that, or do you think it's the fact that at home, and all of us have these smart TVs now that are... No, like these... This, kind of like waiting for dial-up. I, I don't know, but they are so fucking slow at every hotel. And, similar uh, rant, mm-hmm. uh, another get off my lawn, is... When you're on a plane and they have the in-flight like movie or, sure. or direct TV, Dude, the announcements, the fucking announcements. Uh-huh. Every time they go, uh, and if you could, and it just freezes the yeah. thing and yeah. it stops it. And uh, make sure to uh, buckle your seat. Yeah. And uh, okay, and then then they click it off for a second, and then the thing starts. Uh, and if you'd like to get our United uh, yeah. Premier credit card, and you're like. I'm trying to fucking watch, or you're watching TV and you're watching a news thing and like, oh my, oh, ah, and it just it says announcement in progress. You're like, Ugh! well, going on that note, that dude, I've been crazy. Yeah. Is every movie you watch on the plane has yeah. that commercial for the airline before yes. every movie? Yes, and it's a five minute long yep. commercial and it's the same commercial. Yeah, and you can't fast and forward it, you can't fast forward <laughs> through it, and you're sitting there going. And they're going, we know you have choice in airlines. It's like, no, I don't. I don't have choices. I don't have a choice to deal with this shit. And then they, and then the, it's like five minute long epic. Oh, dude, I know the United one by heart. Oh, my God. The Delta <laughs> one's the worst, dude. And then you, got, then you finish the movie after the announcements, and you're like, I still got three hours to go watch another movie. Same Guess what? You get to watch again. The commercial. Yep. Again. And you're like, fuck me. Anyway. This one time. I was on a flight home and it was, it was, it was a, I think it was the Super Bowl. It was either the Super Bowl or like the game before the Super Bowl. And it was like a huge, it was a huge thing. Mm. Everybody on that fucking plane was watching it. Mm. And it went down to the last, like, like it's tied and they're going to kick a field goal. And we had pulled in, we pulled up to the fucking thing. Everybody's still watching it. Literally, I'm not making this up. There's like eight seconds left in the game. And they're, like, they're lining up. And then fucking then it goes to the like United logo. The whole plane collectively goes, ah! ah! I mean, everybody was like, no! See, I would have enjoyed that. Now I you, because you hate sports. sports. But dude, enjoy that so everybody lost their shit. <laughs> How could you fucking do that? With I mean, everybody knew it was being watched, yeah, you know? Yeah. Oh, it was brutal. Have I covered... The I'm sure I have already said this, but mm. I, every time I drive anywhere, mm. it just reeks into my head. Do, when you buy an electric car, mm-hmm. let's say a Prius or a Tesla, or whatever, when you buy, especially Prius, do they take a chunk of your frontal lobe out of your head <laughs> as a down payment? I have no idea. Do they just take your brain out? Does anyone out there own a Prius or something? Do <laughs> they do that? Because I've every Prius... Do, are you not pedaling hard enough? Did you charge it not right? Is the steering not work? Is, is the so rubber band not tight what enough? What is going on with your car? Because fuck me with the Prius drivers. Yeah. Just stay home. I don't know. Don't go anywhere. Uber. I swear they take a piece of your brain. It drives me mad. Pay attention to it. Especially a white Prius. Or that or Arctic Or a white guy thing. in a Prius. That Arctic blue Prius drives oh. me insane. Anyway. Oh. All right. Um, one last, one last, uh, and this, this, this popped in my head because of a conversation I had yesterday. <sighs> Lately, I feel like people don't know when to stop conversations. Late, I've had so many, I mean, I, where, where I'm like, okay, all right, well, 
Ah, you know, and then they just keep. Do you it, say you don't, don't know when or don't know how? Don't know, don't know when. Okay. Like you keep like lately, I'll be. I'm very. You know how I am. I'm very like blunt and like. Sure. If I'm done, you're gonna fucking know it. Like okay, all right, let's yeah. let's wrap this up. It's usually the look on your face. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you're flashing back to the bar with the fucking the chick the on <laughs> yeah. top of the. I'm like, you um, just go. I'm just, I check out. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I was in the conversation. And I, I, I was to the point where I was about to murder somebody. I'm just like, and, and then and when, especially when they're like, okay, well, yeah, you know, I'm gonna let you go. Oh, um, and, and, and so they're like, they're like, here's the wrap up. Okay. I'm getting out. Ah, again, right. they're still fucking talking yeah, yeah. and, and they talk in people that talk in circles yeah. and they just keep going back to the thing they just talked about. And it's like social we, cues. Yeah. A lot of people just don't get social cues. They're socially awkward. They don't know how to come. Again, this goes back to people don't know how to tell stories anymore. No. And I blame movie telling. The, the, we're, we're, it's like okay, it's every story, every conversation that someone tells you, it's like a movie. You know how every movie has five endings now? Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a, that ending yeah. didn't work for you because they're watching you. And then they go, that didn't work for him. I'm going to up yeah. it. And then they keep that up and they go, no, 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 just end it. Yeah. It's like that comedian that's trying to get that last big laugh at the end of their set. Yeah. So they and go, they, good night. Yeah. As soon as they get the big one, they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, well, also, too, the, the, the people that are on the, uh, you know what, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're going to say. Oh, by the way, whoever, the, I, I said this on that last episode, whoever is in Newcastle, Indiana, that sent the fucking thing that I I threw I shredded their thing before I put their address down, mm -hmm. and I said if you sent me a self addressed stamp envelope for stickers from Newcastle, Indiana, zip code four seven three six two, send us a message so I can get this fucking ship to you because we got stickers. It's Speaking of stickers, we we got look at our new sticker. Look at this. Oh. And I got new horse hog ground shiny. Those sticker. are lenticular. They're not lenticular, they're just oh, mylar. Oh. And we still got the old school oh, ones. Nice. Like yeah, that. and look, it's got info in the back. That's too. Oh. It's too small for you to read without your glasses. It, old. There it's we like, go. Let's, let's remember that, that movie, up. M Night. Here's M. a Night. here's a get off my lawn. <laughs> getting old. People, well, here, getting old. And these are for you. My chops for that's a a brick. What am I gonna do with all those? I don't know. Give them away to people. I don't know. Nobody wants this. Wait, what's on the back? Watch the thing with two heads video podcast on YouTube channel Malfunction. Also streaming in audio only on iTunes, Spotify, and various other streaming platforms. Follow Christopher Nelson on Instagram at CNelsonFX. Follow Sean Clark on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Malfunction. Yeah. Oh, so there's a little info on the oh, back. Very nice. With our cool artwork, with the, yeah, with Mark the, Beer, Mark Beer with the scarecrow with the two pumpkin heads. That's awesome. Thank you for my brick, oh stickers. Yeah. We got it. I don't know. Uh, we got letters. Letters. Look at Sean's all oh, prepared. Well, this, I just show up. And, yeah. Well, no, I, I I've got stacks of shit here. This this guy DJ Patton sent DJ I th Patton. Did I give you hit yours already this record I did get panic that, yes. I still haven't listened to it I'm going to I promise I'm going to listen to this record We're going to listen to it together You guys listen to it as well I promise I'm going to get to that yep. I don't know how old these are I've got some get off my lawn stickers <laughs> oh, Look at that Um get off my lawn a little Clint Eastwood on there Uh let's see I don't know if I ever read uh Oh Sean, big fan of your work. Love horse hog grounds. I always make shirts included on Scream Factory release before buying because they are always the highlight. Really enjoy the thing with two heads as well. You and Chris are very entertaining and have good chemistry. I wonder if I've read this one before. I wonder if I just sat it back and anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. If you ever come to Monroeville for Steel City Com, I'd like to get a picture and autograph. Well, I'll be there next weekend. You missed that Chris did a good job on Halloween Kills. Oh, Chris, Chris did, a did a great, great job, job on, on Halloween, Halloween Kills. Kills. I like how he left that out. I left out the dude you're on the modern day Forrest Ackerman. I left that part out. That was a compliment. <laughs> I, you know, I think. A modern day Forrest Ackerman. I, I, think I, I think I did these ones already. I think this is just a bunch of stuff, uh, stuff that I'm very disorganized. I know these are new. Uh, hi, Sean. I'm sending you and Christopher some comics. Hopefully, Ooh. you guys like them. 
Also, here are some Kiss trading cards. I don't know why, but they are they have Dynasty photos with other album titles. Oh, oh they're on the back. Oh. So I think this is for the Batman's for you and the this oh. Tales from Horrors for me. Oh, so nice. guy Cody Wall. Thanks, Cody. Thanks, Cody, for for this. Thanks, Cody, I'm gonna take this off and show off here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It comes in the super slick plastic comic book case. Like yeah. That. Yes. Batman Returns action. Um, this. Oh gosh! I, I worked on Batman Returns. Is that why I get? The that's Batman why you get that one. one. Yeah. Oh, very cool. And I I created Elm Street. That's why I get that one. Thank you, Cody. Um, oh God! I forgot the dude's name. Ah, oh. his name's Dude. No, not that guy. The one who gave us these shirts. Fuck. Oh boy. I'm sorry. I forgot you your name off the top of my out. head. It's the pressure. You but this one's for you. Oh my God! I get the fat guy one. Yeah. Brooklyn, New York, brass knuckles. Brass Knuckle Company, New York City. I like how I said that I get the fat guy when yeah. you go, yeah. Not even a hesitation. <laughs> Brooklyn Brass Actually, Knuckle Actually, this company. might be wow. too big for me now because you know I've been I've been dropping the pounds. Okay. This is an XL. That's a two X. I'd be swimming in that thing. Um, <laughs> and he also gave us each our own brass knuckles. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at those. Yeah, that's legit. That is legit. I would not want to get hit with that. Can you imagine getting hit with that? Think of that. Feel that. I but, saw my brother hit someone with brass knuckles oh, once. That would knocked suck. Knocked him clean out. Um, wow. Yeah, this is a guy I always see at Monster Mania. And his name is escaping me. I'm not ungrateful. I just fucking... I'm, I'm terrible with names. You better find it. This guy, Killian H. Gore, did a Killer Clowns from Outer Space quiz book. Thank you. And he, oh. and he did a whole Horrors Hog Ground section, wow. which is pretty cool. It's in here somewhere. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, um, there's a section based on your show? Yeah, look. Wow. About the locations. Wow. He asked permission, of course, and I said, yeah, look, and even put the YouTube channels and all that stuff. Oh, boy, put it and he way. used my photos. <laughs> there, there I am in there looking handsome and modest. Um, but that's cool. Appreciate that. That is cool. Um Okay, this one I probably didn't do. Yeah, this is a newer one. Uh, this is from Jason LaPlante. LaPlante. I need to send him some stickers, I think. Mm. Hey, Sean and Chris. I hope both of you are well. Chris, I hope you win a Fangoria Chainsaw Award. No. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. <laughs> I voted for you and John Carpenter. Halloween Kills is awesome. Sean, I am sorry for your losses. Losing friends is always hard. The image of Clown from Spawn is a copy of a drawing I made. Oh, that's, it's kind of, oh, it's back here. Oh, there you that's go. what he's talking about. Oh, cool. Are you guys fans of Spawn comics? I used to be. I've included four Hellraiser, three guitar picks, two for each of you. Ooh. The Thing with Two Heads podcast is terrific. You guys are the best. Your avid listener and viewer, Jason. P.S. Sorry this was written in a hurry. Um, Thank so, you. Well, Jason, Jason. Let me see here. that letter. Here. I like. I want to see the, the artwork. Oh, look at that. And look at these nifty lent. Yeah. Now, these are lenticular. That's pretty and we cool. Each, we each get one. They're both they're the same. There's two of each. Here, look at oh, these cool lenticular, lenticular guitar picks. Ooh, oh, pinhead. 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 Pinhead, pinhead. pinhead and pinhead. Pinhead, not pinhead. Pinhead, pinhead then sometimes pinhead, but not Wow, pinhead. these are cool. Oh, okay, so. From Hellraiser 3. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah. I like the handwritten letters, guys. That's kind of cool. It's old school. Yeah. I dig it. You really have to be, you know, exactly to sit down and write a letter. So, uh, I believe who? Oh, I'm trying, trying to remember who's that. trying to remember who sent us these. Did we went over these in the last episode? Yeah, with the cookbook and the and I showed you this, and I I have these out because these are for you. This is the David Bowie pillowcase, remember? Oh yeah. Wasn't it Maggie? That's on, was it Maggie? Oh, uh, is it Maggie? I, I think so. Good we said man. it in the last episode. Good old Maggie. And the cookbook, we and you, you and you got a, a American Werewolf yeah. magnet. Give it to me. Those are yours. Give it to me now. I just want to make sure you got here, them. Take that. I'm taking that and putting it over wow, here. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. The Rock Cookbook. Thank you. Thank you. Love you for that. I love my American Werewolf magnet. Wow, look at that. I'm going to go mm. cook some Rammstein du Hast pork. There you go. Or some ZZ Chop. Sharp ZZ dress, Chop. Sharp dressed dress. lamb. Oh, I thought it was going to be sharp dressed ham. Nope, lamb. Motley Stew Fuck with yes. Tommy Leakes. 
Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Just wanted to thank you for everything you do on YouTube. It's very entertaining. I love the filming locations videos. Hope you enjoy the gifts. The paintings are some of my first tries at airbrushing, and I figured you'd appreciate the warrior shirt. I include an envelope if you wouldn't mind sending me a signed photo. I'm a big fan and hope we can meet one day. Say hi to Chris for me. Derek says hi. Hi, Derek. Uh, regards, Derek. And so this is from Derek. Thank which you, I got to make sure to send him those. And he did a, did these. Oh. Of JC and Zoe. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Goes by Josh, Josh Knott on Instagram. I'm assuming he likes Slipknot. Those Josh are nice. Knott. Josh Knott. That's um, really cool. Where are you oh, these are this? for Chris. I, I don't, I think that they're from Josh. Like, so you got some cool oh, Jason. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I got some Jason Lives. Oh, wait a second. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. I, I scratch that. These are from Josh. I had them in the same box with the things that he did, which are these. These are the airbrush things he was just talking about. Oh. Wow. That goes like that. No, oh, that's yours. That one's yours, the oh, Frankenstein. Cool. Wow. Thank you. And, and this one is mine, which is our heads. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. You guys so, are so cool. Thank you so, so much. So that was Derek did these. Josh did those. And then the the shirt is from from Derek also the warrior shirt, nice. which I appreciate. And it's a large, so I'm trying to lose some weight, and so I'm I'm getting there. I've lost, I've lost twelve pounds so far, and I'm okay. looking for ten more. Would be nice. Very good. I'm getting my fighting weight. You know what I'm saying? Fighting weight. I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. It's just people either. say it. Um, I did get another package here, and I think this is from this is from Maggie. This is from Maggie. And I haven't even looked at this yet. I just opened it and went, Holy yeah, I went, crap. whoa. Fantastic. Boy, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. A and lot of stuff in there. That's from Maggie? It's from Maggie. Maggie, what are you doing? This is definitely yours because it's a fat guy shirt and it's got a cat on it. <laughs> What's FFL, FFL mean? Friend for life, I guess, probably. Is that what it is? Yep. I was going to make a fat joke, but you've already made the I did it. Um, this is a little, a little creature. Check that out. Creature action. I'm, I don't know if that's for you or for me. I don't know if there's a letter in here. Let me see. Oh, God. There's stuff inside everything. She sent lots of stuff. Wow. Hold on. That's cute. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, that goes there. What is this? I, I am really confused by all this stuff. All right, here's a letter. Here's some sort. There we go. It's a card. It's a, a card. Spider. It's a card with a spider. For Sean, case, light-up ornament, Haunted Mansion H3 prints, Nightmare Before Christmas, Fernay Serial Killer Coaster. That's what that is. For Christopher. <laughs> T-shirt from Pinocchio's Rescue. I'm assuming that's what that is. Superman everything. You got some Superman cards here. Um, let's see. Hold on. Superman everything. Yeah, whatever Superman is yours, apparently. Here's another. Why are you sending us so much stuff, Maggie? Why are you doing this? Yeah, it's from Maggie. It says wow. it's Maggie Matter. It says Maggie, on. what are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, this one's cool, actually. Oh, look at this. Is this oh, glass. this is an OG Superman glass. See, this oh. would actually look really good in here nope. with all those. Nope. Superman everything. That would that does Superman everything. That should be in this room. It says it. Oh, I'm just that. That's pretty cool though. Oh, that's bad. Now I want to find those. Um, Thank you. It says 1970. The Howling print. The creature painting. So you got that. That's I that. Got the creature painting. Two no. Stuff doesn't fill voids. Wait. Oh, to know stuff doesn't fill voids, but it makes me happy to gift people Aww. what to what to hope they'll enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. Dear Sean and Christopher, I'm so sorry for the losses you both have endured. Nothing anyone can say or do takes that pain away. True. true. I hope you both will find some peace and comfort and that Mika Beaker Oscar. Oscar didn't die. Oscar's still alive. Oscar's still alive. And all the other fur friends help. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. No, no. She's 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 listing the ones that are still alive. Oh. Uh, no, that says... No. Wait, what's that? Beaker. What does that, though? That didn't say... That says Beaker. 
Does that say Beaver? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe when she wrote this, Beaker was still with us at that maybe. point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and all the other fur friends help. I hope you're, you're both doing well, taking time to relax every once in a while, and hope to see you both soon. All my best, Maggie. Thank oh, you so much, Maggie. Thank you. It was very Maggie. sweet. It's very sweet. And I got a... Looks like I got a... I got a little Nightmare for Christmas glass. That's cool. Um, there's this weird Getting little... Stuff. What is this? So the... What the little... Co who's the coffin for? That's cool. Oh, oh, oh I, look at that. Uh, let me see the little coffin we'll thing. Divvy it up. Uh, oh, this case lineup ornament is what I guess this is. Yes, okay. it lights up. Yep, this one's awesome. And the little serial killer coaster for Nay nice. with a little little stand. Oh. She, she knows Nay's a f weirdo, so she likes that stuff. <laughs> and then what's this? Oh, old nightmare. Now oh, another lenticular. 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 Today's. Lenticular. Secret part where it is lenticular. Right. Um, let's see what else we got. A, looks like we got a poster in here. You kind of went nuts, Maggie. You went nuts, Maggie. Maggie, tone it down, Maggie. Come on, buy yourself something nice. Buy yourself something nice. Take yourself out. Yeah, treat yourself good. Treat see yourself if you can get good. that open. I'm gonna look at yeah, this. this open. Got a sticker with a mohawk, a little skull with a mohawk. Yeah, we see. We're spending too much time on the show opening gifts. You know, this should be about you guys. Oh, darn. Not just us. What's that? This is... Thanks for the... Per Ooh. Uh, mm -hmm. Gifts. Fucking gifts. Rags to witches. Oh, a little ornament. And then the Halloween 3 print is mine. That's pretty cool. And the mansion print is mine. And the howling print is yours. Mine. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at these. These are cool. Those are cool. Those are really cool. My howling print. Wow, this is really, I really like these. Yes. We're just going to stand here and show off our gifts. Yep. Thank you, Maggie. Wow, that's awesome. That's really cool. And what's in there? What's in there? What's in oh, there? let's find out. Is it mine? 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 Is it Superman? Superman. Fucking Superman. <laughs> oh, and it's the villains, too. That's oh. cool. Burr, 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 burr. And one day, your ass. I love that. I love that. Look at that. Yeah, that is actually really That's cool. Pretty badass. Well, let's see on the that back. looks like a, one of those carnival posters. What does that say? Free Superman posters when you buy three safeguard or one bounce or three comet. Wow. Or one spick and span. So this is like a mail order thing. That's yeah. that makes it even cooler. Yeah. Wow. That's really neat. That's really cool. Wow. I, I love the. I love. Of the Superman 2 villains. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of movies, what have you seen lately? What you seen? Ooh. I watched some stuff since we talked last. I haven't seen X yet. I'm dying to see it. I'm also gonna, dying to see I it. I bought tickets to see it the night Beaker died. Ooh. So, I had to not go um, because I was engulfed in grief. Uh -huh. So, I haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. um, haven't seen the Batman yet. Um, just saw it two nights ago did you yes um it's not bad it's really slow i mean it's it lags but uh, I, I i enjoyed it do i ever feel like i need to see it again no but really yeah i hear it's like seven or something like no. that no no everyone keeps going it's like seven no it's not like seven or zodiac with no. batman no nah. Okay, well that's disappointing because that was not really the only reason why I was going to see it. Um, no, it's just the darker, slower Batman. Right. Uh, no. I will see that. Uh, I saw. Well, did we talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre already? We haven't. Show? We have not. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go first? You go first. Did um, you see it? I saw it. And yes. Tell us what you think. I was very impressed by my new client, Mark Burnham, who plays Leatherface in the film. See him at a convention coming to you soon. Texas Frightmares, first one. Um, I thought he did a good job. I, I, I did think he did a good job. I, I, you know, I know some people are bagging on the Leatherface mask, but I do get that it's a fresh kill, and that's what it would look like. It's not all cool and stitched up and, you know. Sure, yeah. um, maybe when they make another one, which I'm sure they're going to, sure. they'll, they'll get a little more creative. But, yeah, 
as far as the movie, uh, had some good kills, but no story. Why the fuck is he in an orphanage? Mm-hmm. Why does the orphanage look just like the original house from the first film? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, why is the fucking chainsaw in a wall and it still starts? <laughs> you fucking pull it. Um, I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's some, there's some real cheese in there. I mean, not a likable character in the movie. You, you hate everybody. You want yeah. them all to die, which is typical of movies these days. Yeah. Um, uh, are those two girls? Are they adopted? Right. If they're sisters, they look nothing alike. Like there's no chance those two are related. Right. Um, uh, I think more people were talking about that one girl's eyebrows than anything else. Uh, <laughs> they were a little overpowering. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the, the yeah. chick had the fucking Tom oh, Selleck oh, mustache oh, eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, those things were beasts. Those things were going off. Yeah. Which and I and I like a thick eyebrow. I do. But those okay. were those were those were a bit much. I All even right. have to say for me. Um <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean it it just it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Um but at the end of the day, I was entertained. Mm. It was just you know, it had enough blood and action. I mean, there was a couple good gags. I really liked the, the one I really liked was the scene where he threw the chainsaw across the floor and mm-hmm. it spun at her. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was it was that was just a really cool idea, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, why there's a practically a swimming pool in the middle of the lobby of a movie theater? <laughs> I I don't know. I didn't know that could happen, <laughs> yeah. even with uh, rain damage. But uh, your take. Um, I, you know, it's, like, it's hard. It's no Halloween kills. It's, uh, kills. <laughs> Everybody hated Halloween kills. Well, a lot I of know. people hated Halloween kills. But a lot of people liked it. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. No. Um, I, I get, look. It, talking about this guy right here. Leatherface. Leatherface. That, it's, it's, again, it's so hard. And I understand where fans are coming from when I get all the messages from, about Halloween, about it didn't have this, and they didn't get that, and we're always chasing this dragon of the original. That's yeah. all we ever do is chase this dragon, and I and I go into movies accepting that. Look, I go in. I'm not expecting it to be the original. I don't want it to be the original. I saw the original. Yeah. If I want to see the original, I'll watch the original. Uh, but I do want to see a vibe and a tone and a and a just a a, a, a feeling that was really vacant from the movie. It. Mm. it I don't know why the Sawyer family thing was just ex nade. You know, that was just, I don't yeah. know, or maybe I missed it. Um, I don't know why. Why is he in an orphanage? Why is he in an orphanage? I didn't understand. Was this oh. supposed to be a prequel? Is it a sequel? Is it a, uh, is it a multiverse? Are we doing that thing? Am <laughs> I missing the multiverse situation? Um. Uh, it just didn't have that gritty. And again, you could say this about any franchise thing. It doesn't have what the original had. But it was so lacking of any of that, of the feeling of the smell and the heat and the dirt of what makes a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I still have yet to see a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie other than the original done even close. I love Part 2. I'm a big fan of Part 2. It's a different vibe, tone completely. I like Part 3. I like it for what it is. Yeah. You know? But uh, I just, it wasn't scary. I was the, I was bummed that the most of the gags were digital. Like most of them. Yeah. Almost all of them were digital. And that's too bad because, and the color of the blood bothered me. It looked like cherry. It just wasn't right. It wasn't dirty enough. It wasn't, I mean, I can go into it as an effects guy going, what would I have liked to have seen? And I don't know why they, they, went digital on some of the effects because I've seen behind the scenes photos where he's holding the physical mm-hmm. severed head of the girl that mm-hmm. looked good. Mm-hmm. Why did they put her face on it and, you know, like did go digital over right. it? I, 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 whatever. I was really thrown off by the whole, uh, the Sally, the girl that they bring back, the woman that is you mean the, Jamie Lee Curtis and Halloween, exactly. and Halloween the, 2018, the, the, the super rip off of what we did in 2018, and, yeah. and then not pay it off. 
I yeah. guess you could say we did that in 2018, but at least we had other movies. But uh, then she gets killed, a la uh, Halloween Kills, fire f- firefighter. Yeah, you know, the, I, I uh, felt that was really heavy handed and not. It just and and I'm sorry, but Sally in the original was attractive. Yeah, there's no way that lady was Sally. No, <laughs> yeah. no, not at no all. offense to you, lady, but no, you know yeah. that you know. I just was. It just was again lacking of uh, and. The the setup of it I thought was silly. It's like some You're going to buy a town. Buy or a something. town I mean, to start a new cult or something I, like that. I was like, was that a and cult? Then, or and something? then or? what is clearly just a set built out in the middle of nowhere that yeah. looked like the town from the House of Wax remake. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is almost the exact same they think, you know, because I think the House of Wax they did in Australia, Australia. out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And this they did in New Zealand, yeah. was it? No, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Bulgaria, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Why or can't Budapest I, or something, or something like that? Something yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But, but, but it's like, why, why can't you just film it? I mean, clearly not Texas. There, there are no hills not in even Texas. Close to Texas. There's no hills no, in Texas. Not even close to Texas. Yeah. That, again, that, the feel, there was no Texas feel to it. Yeah. There was no, you know, you drive through Texas. Yeah. You just drive through it. Yeah. And you go, <sighs> yeah. If you know Texas Chainsaw, you can get it. And <laughs> I don't understand that. I remember when they were doing House of Wax in Australia because we were shooting Ghost Ship mm. right close to that. Oh, really? And, uh, and did uh, you ever go to set on House of Wax? Did I you did. ever drive over there? I did once. Oh. When it caught on fire or something. Oh, really? Yeah, the set caught on fire and burned down, and they had to rebuild it. But uh, wow, uh, yeah, I was doing Ghost Ship, Ghost Ship, um, but it didn't feel like Texas. It felt like a built set. I don't know. But it's... at least in House of Wax, it was supposed to be a fake town, right? So it kind of worked, right? 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 Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I was just I was excited too. Yeah. I was excited. I thought. Because I saw a lot of buzz online, so I was like getting pumped. Buzz. Yeah, I, I did that on purpose. But I, people were digging it. I'm like, oh, this, yeah. I, I'm excited. Yeah, and yeah. then I was like, really? This? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I did like Mark's performance of Leatherface. I thought he had a good build for it. Um, I thought he played the role well. Um, you know, uh, yeah. but beyond that, I mean, I just I hated every character in the movie and. Yeah, I want to like people. Again, yeah, you want to so root for them. I feel bad if something happens, or yeah. I feel bad if something happens to someone that they love. You know, I mean, you, I, I just don't feel anything anymore uh, with these movies. I want to feel something. And yeah, you could say that about the Halloween stuff before all you guys start commenting on, you know, where we went wrong with Halloween. <clears throat> you know, at least there's some likable characters, and you're trying, and you're, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if you just fan service me, I didn't get any of that with Texas Chainsaw at all. And a lot of it made no sense. The people on the phone, like doing the whole thing with when they were in the bus, the party bus. Cancel you, bro. You can be canceled, bro. Cancel you, bro. I was like, oh, man, really? You just (laughs) dated it. Yeah. Like, now we're making movies specifically and we're dating them. Yeah. All these movies, like the original Chainsaw, and there's these movies. They might seem dated based on fashions and things like that, but there were never any tropes purposely injected into them mm-hmm. to date them exactly where they're at. That wasn't a thought because you're just trying to tell a story that should be timeless. Hence the reason why those stand the test of time. And I feel like nobody's doing that anymore. And certainly that movie didn't do it. So, yeah, meh, meh. With that said, he loved it. Comes down like um, did you see Dune? I know we talked. I did see Dune. Did I we did talk s- about Dune, didn't we? No, because I think when we did bring it up, we're, you hadn't mm-hmm. seen it, and I said I had zero interest. But then I got really? stuck on a really long we flight. We talked about it on the last one. What did you think of Dune? I thought it looked great. Yeah. It looked amazing. It kept my interest. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I thought it was fine. I thought it looked great yeah everything about it the look of it was fantastic the set design the art direction the makeup the costumes the visual effects it was all stellar Mm. like you couldn't do better um i was so distracted at the fact even though i do know the story of dune it's still distracting how much star wars rips Dune. oh yeah i'm just so distracted by that 
Yeah. That bothers me. Also, I hated the way it ended. Mm -hmm. um, because to be honest with you, I was not aware there was more than I, I was. It ended. I'm like, really? That's how you're ending this movie? What no. the fuck? Even, okay, let's say you're having a, another one. And this is probably all shit that's been discussed at nauseum at this point. But at least go out with a bang. Give me yeah. some kind of cliffhanger. Something. Yeah. And I was just tired of seeing people staring out over the vast desert, contemplating the meaning yeah. of their purpose. And like, well, you know, the other thing I thought okay. was kind of interesting is the whole spice thing. But the, There's a whole spice thing in the Star Wars world now, too. With spice being a, like a drug, uh, and and yeah, it's in the it's in the uh, Mandalorian uh, Book of Boba Fett uh, series, uh, and yeah, the spice trade, and it's like wow, that's really fucking, you know, on the nose, similar <laughs> like you know, um, I, but yeah, you know, I'm I, I was stuck on a plane, bored, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just give it a shot, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as long as the announcements weren't fucking interrupting it every ten minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, did you happen to see The Many Saints of Newark? I did. And I finally did, on a plane as well. Yeah, I was like... I didn't know what was going on yeah. at the time. I'm like, who's that? Yeah. Why? There's nothing happening I, in this movie. I, it felt... The whole thing felt pointless. Yeah. Um, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't... I mean, if you weren't a Sopranos fan, you'd be like, "Okay, why am I? Why are we watching There's this movie? No why is this movie relevant?" And right. it, um, and I was a Sopranos fan, and I was still kind of like, "Wow, well, mm -hmm. okay," mm -hmm. um, hmm. you know. And I thought, I will say, I thought um, uh, Vera Farmiga was amazing. I mean, the mm. the makeup job and everything, and and her whole the the New York. Mm -hmm. Accent. I thought mm -hmm. she she killed it. I was mm -hmm. like, holy shit! When I I didn't yeah, realize I, it was I, her I at knew first. What that character was supposed yeah. to be, <laughs> at least. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I'm sure I'm blanking on a lot of stuff. I could sit there and say I saw. I watched. I watched. You know those classic albums series where they take an album and mm -hmm. dissect it and stuff. They did one for Tears for Fears. I didn't know if Songs for the Big Chair. Really. Which is really good. Oh, I didn't I really see that. Enjoyed that What's they, that on? Like it, what? It's on Amazon, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, it's so good. I enjoy the, that series where they take a classic album. And they talk to the producers and the engineers and the artists, and they dissect it song by song and mm -hmm. recording, and they isolate tracks and discuss how they came up with the music. And So they did one on Songs of the Big Chair. It's really good. Mm. And speaking of, I think I brought it up on the last one, the new Tears for Fears album is awesome. Really? I haven't I heard it. I love it. Really? I listen to it constantly it's a little adult contemporary ish but you're heading in that direction i'm already heading in that direction it's really good the new psychedelic furs album is really good is it yeah no it's not do you not like them no i don't know i i'm it's, not familiar with a lot of their stuff i celebrate their catalog constantly their entire catalog. i do actually um did you happen to see pam and tommy no it was actually pretty good i mean it was in, entertaining like I, sebastian stan and the chick who did who played pam mm -hmm. knocked it out of the park and looked just like her the makeup job they did on her mm -hmm. phenomenal whoever did the makeup on that do you know who did it i do i know that autonomous jason collins's company did a bunch of stuff for it yeah i don't know who actually did her makeup but yeah uh i'm not in i don't care about either of those two people no i was intrigued N nor do i care about their sex tape or I'm just. I'll let you borrow it if you want to see it. That's okay. Um, <laughs> have you watched any of like Book of Boba Fett or are you in, in, in any of that shit? Don't care. Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. I should. I get bored really easy with those things. Mm. This guy in a helmet. And it's he is in a helmet. And someone goes, Where are we going? And I go, I don't know. We're going over here. And then there's a little baby puppet and another guy in a helmet. And then pew, pew, pew. And that's all it is to me. It's just mm. pops and clicks all the time. There's nothing really. Emotional. I yeah. watched Goodfellas again. That's awesome. That movie's right. <laughs> um, so The Walking Dead officially ended. They wrapped this yeah. this this week. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, I mean, even though the show The Walking Dead ended, I mean, it's still continuing on with its many other with the thirty nine spinoffs. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, this this I thought you would get a kick out of. So they announced Isle of the Dead, which is the right. Maggie and Negan spinoff, okay. which they announced. 
before this one's finished, which kind of ruins like, oh, well, they're obviously living. <laughs> right. um, and I know it pissed off Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He he actually kind of went out public about like, oh, wow. like way great, to go. a way to go, a way to run the... Good job of the marketing. Yeah. And um, they don't give a fuck. They just want to promote. You know, yeah. it's all about advertising and sales. Money. and yeah. But uh, anyway, when they if you read the synopsis, did you read the synopsis? Mm-mm. It's basically Escape from New York. Oh. They're in Manhattan and it's locked down and it's, you know... And it's funny, like, soon as that came out, I got a text from Nick Castle who said, didn't I already write this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was pretty funny. That is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. We're, the, I, you can watch almost any movie and go, didn't I already see this when it yeah. was called, you know. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's a little get off my lawn in regards to Walking Dead. Go. Why is not anybody ever point out, the, they're constantly on every version of walking dead every you know fear the walking dead world beyond all the burying somebody that dies mm. have you ever dug a hole deep enough to bury someone oh, that's a good point you know how fucking hard, hard it is and, and how, how long, long it, it takes, takes and how exo- you're already I, supposed to be working on yes, fumes i'm so glad you brought this up because i dug i was telling stephanie this the other day because we were watching a movie and someone was digging a grave yeah. and they did it in like yeah, you know, an hour yeah. or whatever. And I'm going, and I said the same thing to her. I go, do you know how hard it is to do that and how yeah. long it takes? She goes, how do you know? I go, because I did it once. Yeah. I went to my backyard when I was a kid and I dug a grave because I just wanted to know what it was yeah. like or how long it, it was really hard. Well, it took me like two days. <laughs> when Zero passed, yeah. I actually buried her in my backyard uh-huh. and I dug a hole, you know, that deep uh-huh. for a dog this big. Right. It was not an easy task no. and took several hours. Yeah, yeah. And so I watched fucking Walking Dead and every day, like, oh, you know, so-and-so died. and we were, Oh, we have to bury him. Are you kidding me? All these fucking dead motherfuckers all over the place. You're just going to, you're just going to keep burying them. Fuck right. that. You would have been over that shit a long time yeah. ago. Quit burying them. All why right. Why do you, why do you burn them? Why burn do them. they bury them? You gotta... Respect, bro. Respect. Oh. Do they come back or something if you no, don't bury them? No, because they always in the head and make sure they're not. So in that them. show, excuse, pardon my night your night, ignorance. My ignorance. So when someone dies, they don't just pop back up as zombies. They can. They can if uh, you know, unless they if they're bit. By yeah. One. It, but like, well, if no. I, like if I'm like if going, I shot you and you died, unless you got shot in the head, I you'll come, come back. back. I'll come back. Yeah. So if somebody dies in front of you, usually they put knife like in their head. Like if I have a heart attack. Like You're going like, to come Holy back. Holy shit. Mm. Yeah. I would come back. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Do they ever, ever allude to what it is that is doing that? Causing no. that? No. They still haven't, no. Okay. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Okay. Honestly, the worst thing on the show now, in my opinion, is the zombies. Hmm. I mean, I'm so over the zombies. I want to know why, how their pants stay up. I want to know why everybody wears the same, like, Gray type of gray clothes. like like the monochromatic yeah, yeah like nobody has like a cool t-shirt that they found at like a <laughs> jc Penney's or you know even like a just yeah. a, a, a colorful makes, yeah it makes them inhuman which i understand they are inhuman but it takes away one of the greatest things that george romero did is he gave the zombies character and yeah in fact, they had a former life which made it more tragic yeah it makes it much more tragic if you see a zombie that you're like oh that that was this kind of person in a, yeah. in a day which makes it doom filled and horrifying yeah. as opposed to just everyone is looking the same the same and and again their pants don't fall down even though they're deteriorating and and, yeah. and getting thinner someone's tightening their well, belts and, to keep their pants you know, up. not to fat shame any any certain cast members, but geez, some of them just don't seem to lose weight when they're barely eating anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're supposed to be in a, a apocalypse, zombie apocalypse, where they're struggling to get right, food, right. but yet some of those fat dudes are staying fat. I don't know how. <laughs> Same with the women. So, um, yeah, the fucking stashing the Twinkies. I know yeah. it. Um, oh, I got a story for you. Uh, this happened at a convention. Yeah. Story. So. Somebody comes up to a table. I'm trying to think of whose booth I was working. This would have been... Shit. I, I was... Bill Bixby. It was Bill Bixby and the Incredible Hulk. Um, I was... I think I had, like, 
some one of the girls that works for me had to go to the bathroom. Like, could you cover me for a minute? I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting there and I'm doing the money and I'm like, next, you know, blah, blah, blah. Somebody comes up and they're like, oh, you know, um, so I'm trying to decide if I should, it's a guy and a girl. And he's like, I'm trying to decide if I should get, get one for me or get one for my dad. Right. And I go, I go, get one for you, bro. I go, what's your dad ever done for you? Right. Fuck your dad like that. Now just be just just to be funny, funny, you know. Right. I, and then the girl, like he's he doesn't look up. He just keeps looking down. The girl looks at me, and goes, "He just died." Oh. And I'm just like, <laughs> swear to God, <laughs> swear to fucking God. Oh. And I'm just like, how the fuck did I? Die? I mean, why are you buying him an autograph then? You know, if he just died. Right. Right. Why would you say that? <laughs> That's not your fault. It's, I, I, but, you know, there's, uh, there's a, it reminded me of another, <laughs> there's been plenty of times the foot into the, into the sure. mouth. There was a, a time a, what I was sure was a dude came up to the table. Mm-hmm. And so, and I said, Hey ma'am, what can I get you? He's like, ma'am. And I'm just like, I, I call everybody man. Sorry. You know, and I, I I'm just like, back up let me just it's like the fucking homer simpson going into the bush right. um and another one this one uh i we have signage that clearly says you know whatever you know is it and somebody and i'm working i'm looking like this and the person comes up and they said you know i like you know how much is it for an autograph i go oh what can't you read and i look up and they're literally with the stick i swear to god and i i said Excuse me, I'm sorry. I was looking away. My bad. It is uh, 50 or whatever. <laughs> I was like, Jeez. dude, like, fuck, brutal. That's brutal. Dude, seriously, like this. And they were cool. They were like, oh, no, it's good. Don't worry about it. It's cool. You know. Can't you read? Yeah. I'm like, can't you fucking, yeah, yeah. this is on the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, a bummer about the Viper Room. What's happening with the Viper Room? They're, they're tearing it down to oh. build luxury apartments. Oh. Is that because of Johnny Depp? <laughs> he doesn't own that joint anymore. No, I think he sold it a long time a long ago. Time ago. But uh, went to many good shows there, played there many times. Played oh. there when it was called The Central. Oh. I, I played in a band called Jumbo when, when it was The Central. And then my old band. Is that when you were fat? Yeah. Not that's, fat shame. Yeah. No. Easy. Jeez, uh, was, I was, I was, um, and then Malfunction. Uh, we opened for System of a Down the night they got signed wow. at the Viper Room. Wow. Yeah. So uh, was it because you guys were so bad you made them look good and they got I, signed? I, that's, I've always taken credit for that. I'm like, man, if anybody good had played with you guys. Is that the band that goes to Toxicity of all cities? <laughs> it does a lot of kind of yodeling. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not in the you don't like them? Oh, I, God, you no. know, I kind of like, I, I, I like. I like them a little bit. A right. little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Oh, okay, here's a story. This is a good one. I should probably save this one for the end. Uh, it's a, Yeah, this is... Yeah, no, I'll just tell it now. So, my housekeeper. This is, you know, real world problems here. I'm going to sit back on this one. Your <laughs> so, housekeeper, please, go on. <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal with that? No. What's the deal with the help? <laughs> no, so... We have a housekeeper that that usually comes every two weeks. What's her name? Angelica. Okay. You're you're gonna shame me if I didn't know her name. <laughs> so, but no, she's been coming for like fifteen years. Wow. And it and, and it's just it's sporadic. Like sometimes she would disappear for a couple months, and then she would text and go, "Oh, I'm coming." And she and I met her because she does our neighbor's house across the street. Right. They introduced us. Okay. So. I was saying to Nay, I'm like, you know, I haven't heard from Angelica. You know, it's been, and I looked it up. It was December 6th was like the last time she came. Mm. So I text my neighbor and I said, have you heard from Angelica? And they're like, no, oh, she cleaned her house last week. I'm like, what? What the fuck? Are you serious? Because she'd do their house and then she'd come to ours. Mm-hmm. So I texted her, <laughs> right? Be good. I texted her and I said, hey, you know, um, are, you, are you coming uh, next week? Nothing. In fact, it's that sort of like you know, the green bubble where it's like, I'm, I think I'm blocked, right? So then I waited the night before. I said, I, I asked my neighbor, is she coming tomorrow? And he said, yeah, she's going to be here tomorrow morning. Text her, are you going to do our house tomorrow? 
Same green bubble, nothing. Motherfucker. So then I, I get up early. I see their van out there. She's in. So I said to Nay, I said, hey, go over there because they, they speak English, but it's so so, and Nay speaks fluent Spanish. Mm-hmm. So I said, you go over there and, you know. I was going to say, why did you make her go over there? I said, you're brown. They're brown. Go talk to them. No, no. no. I, but no, that's why. I figured, right. you know. Sure. So she goes over and knocks on the door, mm-hmm. rings the doorbell. No answer. Okay. They don't answer. So, and, I, hiding. And, and like their shoes are outside and everything. They're in there. They're in there going, but, Shh, don't you just be quiet. But I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe it's not their house. Maybe they just don't answer the door. It is not their house. Right. You know, they're not, home. the people that live there aren't home. Sure. So I, I was basically stalking, like, wait, you know, see when she, I see them leave. I go, nay, 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 they're leaving. Go, go talk to them. Mm-hmm. So she goes, talks. Mm-hmm. That Excuse goes me. there. Yeah. So she comes in. She goes, you're not going to believe this shit. I go, what? What's up? Like, literally, I have no conversation with them when they're here. And I, mm-hmm. I, I don't give them the keys to the house and let them do it. I'm, I'm always home. Right. I'm just sitting in my office working. They do the thing. We're done. Here's your money. Right. Have a nice day. Right. She said the last time she came here that she got um, sick and has fallen into a deep depression and has been seeing a therapist since she did our house. She's been coming here for 15 years. I know so I got she... spooky shit and, you know, she's all Jesus-y and fucking, you know, she is. <laughs> and, but there ain't nothing she's like... All it's not like I put a big Baphomet statue in the living room. You know, I don't... I mean, I know she has told me that because she brings different helpers sometimes uh-huh. and some are like oh, oh oh you know right but what the fuck really 15 years so 15 years she came here one time and suddenly like it was like amityville Horror yeah where it was yeah like, get out and i was thinking you know the flies yeah and like, <laughs> starts throwing get up out. Bile. yeah <laughs> so, so go ahead is that it that's it she so says she's, she's not, not coming back, back. Not coming back. Because your house is evil. She didn't say specifically, just said That's that amazing. she has been seeing a therapist, <laughs> and, a therapist and is still in a heavy depression. So you wrecked her. And she literally just ghosted us. Like, you could have told us. Right. Just fucking ghost us At after 15 send years. A, send me a text saying your place is too evil for yeah. me. Yeah. Because I'm all Jesus-y. Yeah. I love the Jesus-y. <laughs> um, well, I'll, I, you know, the, it's very the Catholic, the, you know, Latinos. Very, sure, sure, you know, sure. But like a thing. 15 years. Has she always been Jesus-y? Or yeah. Or she just recently always come Jesus-y. into that? Okay. Always in, you know, yeah. That's really strange. I'm fascinated by that. And she's been going to a therapist. Were you walking around in your underwear? I was walking around shit? masturbating, oh, but okay. is that a is that a problem? Well, it's my house, well, right? I can do what I want in my house. There you go. <laughs> yeah, other than that, I don't know what the big deal is. Oh God! <laughs> wow, that's really weird story. So you have to find a new housekeeper. Yeah, she said that she would recommend someone who's not Jesus, but she would just put uh, it in our mailbox. Like she'll like next time she comes over. You're lying. I swear to God, you can ask me. She that. won't cross the threshold. Nope. <laughs> when she said so she got sick, what kind of sick? She didn't tell her. She just said that she got sick and that she fell into a deep depression after cleaning our house. Wow. Because the evil, I'm sure, entered her. I don't... It's so strange. I, you know, I look around and I don't see anything inherently evil. I mean, the I only thing people it, but... really freaked out about. I mean, and j- I just so you know, come into she's house. never been in this room. Oh, okay. I've never opened this door. Right. Like, I keep it locked. Yeah, your house isn't that. I mean, there's the the uh, fucking Pazuzu uh, face on uh, the wall. That used to freak out my ex wife, but. But other than I get that, that, though, when people come to my house, to so like, let's say, I, had, I remember I had a guy come clean the carpets or something. He was like, looking around, he's like, <laughs> "You're into some weird shit," and I'm like, "Really?" And like, <laughs> it doesn't dawn on me. Yeah. Like, to me, it's like Dude, the artwork, and you're just kind of going, "Oh, it's normal," I you know. But people just get hate weird. About I that. hate having people come to my house it's, like yeah. like cable guy or yeah. plumber or because yeah. it's always the same thing. Do the walk in. Who's Dude, it? what do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you are you like? In, are you like 
do you make movies? Are you like a rock star? What, what, you, what, what Wow, what do you, you know, right. dude, my favorite is the it's ones that, your business. dude, my favorite is the, the one dude, because it always happens. It's always like that. And this one guy came in. So where's the problem at? I mean, like literally didn't give a fuck. Didn't ask one. That. I'm like, so, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much Thanks, for not asking. People, I, don't, yeah. I mean, they're just like, so, yeah, so, yeah, I mean. What, what you know what i mean like they just it's like it's it's like they're trying to like it's like i'm just gonna keep asking questions do you want me to just tell you exactly what right. i do so we can just get it over with right. do you want a tour i don't want or... to just like keep throwing a couple little questions like right. are you involved in <laughs> pure <laughs> evil i'm kind of tempted yeah. to put to buy a bunch of those you know those cool old uh velvet paintings of naked ladies with oh, yeah. afros and shit oh know, yeah like, like fucking scat man crothers had <laughs> i get a bunch of those and just line my house with yeah like a bunch of all over the place so when people come in they're like what the because that you don't even know what to ask yeah like monsters i get you got monster stuff people are like are you into mon- what's the deal <laughs> that you wouldn't even be able to yeah <laughs> that'd be amazing we could talk uh, about taylor hawkins that sucked yeah, where was I when when I heard I was some um, crazy. I was uh oh, I was at Horror Hound mm-hmm. and uh somebody texted it to me mm-hmm. and and I yeah. I thought it was bullshit. Yeah. Um, Cuz Stephanie was like, "What?" I go, "What's the matter?" She goes, "Taylor Hawkins died." I'm like, "What?" That's horse shit. And I thought for the longest time it was horse shit. Like I was waiting for a yeah, something. Thank God uh, it didn't happen on April Fool's Day or something. Uh, Nobody would have believed it. Well, the Robbo team thing that you brought up, thing, but Dude, we'll talk about that. But yeah, anyway, that. But let's finish. Taylor fucking Hawkins. Darren sends me this thing, and 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 I thought it was, uh, and I my response to him was, it's fucking April second, asshole. It's like <laughs> I'm done. I I person I purposely ignored every shit well, that happened on the here's first. Here's what's funny. Here's what's funny about that because you sent it to me. And I was looking at the picture. I'm like, it looks like him, but well, I don't. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, let's finish Taylor yeah. Hawkins. Right? Okay, Taylor. I'm, I'm sad about Taylor Hawkins. Me Taylor too. Hawkins was a beast of a drummer and a musician. Phenomenal. And a singer. And oddly enough, I keep seeing these documentaries on with him being talked to, like in the past oh. few days. I'm like, I saw the Alanis Morissette oh, one. You know. Taylor Hawkins. Yeah. And it's so yeah. sad. And it's, it's, I mean, the guy was young. What was he, 50? 50. 50. He's younger than me. Yeah. That's horrifying. And I certainly would like to think that it's not drugs. I hope mm. not. It sounds I, like it is. I know he had a history, but... Had ten you know, different substances in his system. Yeah, but some of them were this and some of them... Some, you know, you can... I take that with a grain of salt. I'm, I'm taking that with a grain of salt. I've got one in just, my system right now. I would, Advil. I would think, you know... You know... Someone who lived that hard of a life could have been a heart attack. You know. Yeah. Know. Well, the thing I, is, I'm not going to speculate, but it's if sad. it was, let's it's face it, if it was a heart attack, we would have heard already. Yeah. 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 The, the the fact that we haven't heard I is not good. Of, I had a friend of mine die who drank a lot, and it turns out it wasn't because of that. It should have been. Mm. It ended up being a heart attack caused by that weakens your heart. But yeah. Uh, Anyway, point being is that it's a bummer. I'm a bummer. It's such a bummer that that guy died. And I can't even imagine what Dave Grohl must be feeling. You know, that's that's oh, yeah. that's just like, wow. But uh, it's really sad. I will say this. Taylor As Hawkins. a drummer, I mean, I, he was a phenomenal drummer. Mm. I started thinking to myself, who could replace him? Like, who would be a good choice? And, you know, there is a clear choice in my head of I think would be the perfect replacement for him, mm-hmm. uh, Josh Freeze. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know who he is? Mm-hmm. He plays with the Vandals, Devo, mm-hmm. Infectious Grooves. I mean, the guy is probably a better drummer than Taylor. I mean, a very technical. Was taught by mm-hmm. Terry Bozio. I mean, I think Stephanie knows her. Him, uh, uh, he's um, he would, and he's the right age. Mm-hmm. Like so, he would fit in with those guys, and mm-hmm. and a well-respected musician already. Mm-hmm. I think he would be a perfect fit. Um, just as somebody who could step in and do it, but you know they may go with a an unknown or a, I mean shit, Dave. If Dave could play and sing, I mean I already have three guitarists now. You could just get back there and but that won't ever happen. But yeah, I don't know. It, 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 I don't even like to even. I couldn't even imagine thinking about that. Yeah, you know, considering how close they were. But uh, that's a sad loss. Unfortunately, 
you know, uh, it's, it sucks to, you know, it, it'd be like, I mean, God, there's so many comparisons you can make. It's unfortunately the show must go on. I mean, life doesn't stop when yours ends, you know, it, True. It, it, it's, it's true, but at least it's, it's yeah. some, spend some of time. course. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to jump back out on the road, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but it's, it's, yeah, it's a bummer. And another loss, um, I don't know if you heard about Paul Kelman dying. Mm-mm. Paul Kelman was the lead in My Bloody Valentine, mm. uh, the main guy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's weird. I never met him. We, we've we been in touch for over 10 years. Mm-hmm. He had health problems, and that's why he never did a convention. He We'd always try to get him to, but he lived in Toronto. Um, and uh, he, super nice guy. We'd talk on Facebook all the time, and... We had made an agreement the next time I went to Toronto, Mm -hmm. he and I were going to get together and have lunch. Mm -hmm. And um, during COVID, uh, I think he got it Mm -hmm. and uh, went in the hospital and never came out. Mm, That's too bad. Yeah, really sweet guy. Um, I never got a chance to meet him. But, you know, did have some great conversations with him. Uh, Well, going back to the the Rob Bottin story, I was mm -hmm. was just telling my side of this because I was was driving down to see my mom. (laughs) And my my phone's hooked up to my car, so it goes text message from Sean Clark, and I'm like, and I press You're it, like, and it Fuck. goes, and it says, "Have you seen this?" <laughs> but it does, you know, I can't. Yeah. It, the, and I'm like, what does that mean? And then it's like, dude, Bob, or something like that. And I'm going, what the fuck is he texting me? And then and then I, and then I press it again, another new text message. I press it, it goes. HTTP colon slash slash Bart Bunga slash slash. It, it yeah. reads out the, yeah. the link that you sent. Yeah. Me. And I'm going, what the fuck? And I'm driving. <laughs> I'm on the freeway and I'm like, I can't look at this shit. So finally I get off and I look at it and I laugh my balls off because it says Rob Botines now comes out of hiding to make whimsical, make, make whimsical castles. Wooden castles. Wooden castles. <laughs> and I look at the photo and it's not him. Like, I'm like, that's not Rob Bottin. Why did they, that's not even him. Yeah. And then shortly, like, after I was, I before I could even text you, you were like, oh, it's bullshit. It's an April 4th. I go fucking Darren. But yeah, so Darren Roberts, (laughs) Darren Roberts sends me this link that goes, dude, check it out. And it says Rob Bottin, you know, comes Comes out of hiding. hiding. And it, it said it was from Variety. Uh, to make whimsical wooden castle, and there's a picture of this dude who looks like looks him, kind of like, him, and he's yeah. standing in the middle of this room with all these wooden castles, with like a sash on, yeah, like a sash shirt, and he's like this, and all these wooden yeah. castles. And I'm, middle. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit! I go, and I'm, the first thing I'm thinking in my head is, man, as soon as people know it's him, yeah. he's gonna just start getting bombarded with like people going to a convention, the blah blah blah, blah stuff. A castle. Oh yeah, or you know, <laughs> yeah. If I, like, if I, I buy a castle, works. will you sign my thing poster? <laughs> you know. So so then he sends me this other link that goes to the dude's website, and I click that, and it says Rob something, a different last name, right. and he's in the UK, uh-huh. and I pull up the picture, and I'm like, that doesn't look like him. Mm. I don't think that's him, mm. and. And then he said, it, April Fool's. And I'm like, motherfucker, because I'm like, I just sent that to Chris, you know, <laughs> thinking it was real. It was good, though, because and, at first glance, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and then I said that. And it wouldn't, I wouldn't, it's <laughs> the odd thing, there was a nugget that went, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, I know, like, he's I so wacky. I wouldn't put it past him. And I was like, then I started thinking about how I can do that. And yeah. like going, how can I change my name and do something completely different and disappear, but then show up and be yeah. s- s- fucking bizarre? Yeah, which is a brilliant idea, and he should do that. But I, w- but then when I got to look at him, like that's not Robo T. Yeah. <laughs> and then he says April Fools, and I'm like, motherfucker, it's April second. <laughs> you know, I was I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, to- I, I purposely avoided all that yeah. shit, and yeah. then this fucking guy well, we were sends me play this a thing. little prank on this. But it's, yeah, we we, then we were like, now nah, let's. We do talked it. about let's putting see. out a, a that you know due to how busy we are, we're no longer continue the show. Not do the show anymore. Which yeah. which most people out there probably <laughs> went. Oh, it sucks to be that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it was funny. Is I thought to myself, wouldn't it be a bummer though if people were like, Don't, yeah, it didn't care. <laughs> yeah. it, was like they, it was so backfired. Yeah, like yeah. like yeah, bro. I want. I've been mean to tell you guys. It's you know it's probably for the best. They're like right. oh thanks you well, know would have been our, who was our biggest fan? If we'd have done a show and and done a fake argument mm-hmm. on the show, yeah, 
and, and done the slap, done the slap, <laughs> or, or get up and walk out, huh. and that you decided to post it anyway against yeah. my wishes. Because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. Yeah, <laughs> and you're posting it anyway, and then perpetuate that. Yeah. Like that would have been the ultimate joke. Well, it was funny. We were at dinner Sunday night after Horror Hound. We all went to BJ's, and uh, it was like uh, Jamie Kennedy and Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard and. We had a group of like 18 people, the mm-hmm. giant table. Mm-hmm. And that's when somebody goes, oh, somebody goes, holy shit, fucking Will Smith just punched out Chris Rock at the Oscars. And we're all like, we're all on our phones trying to find it. <laughs> then we find, you know, we see the real thing. It's a slap. And everybody's sitting around going, whoa, we're all checking it out. Uh-huh. And then immediately Jamie grabs Skeet and they did this whole thing with the slap. And they filmed it and he put it on his uh on his Instagram and shit. It's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. But like, and Skeet, like, he's like, it was just a joke. He's like, he goes, he goes, don't, he goes, don't you, because he said something like, get Scream 6 out of your mouth or something like that. It was something like that. It was, it was, it was pretty funny. You know, for the fans. For the, for the kids. Um, I did, I will have to say this, so, uh, um, I, the new Ghost record, mm-hmm. I'm really digging it. Okay. And I did not really care for the last one, but this new one, mm-hmm. It's got like an '80s throwback thing going on. Oh, um, I mean, you've, '80s throwback like what kind of '80s throwback? There's like, a lot of 80s like, like, like what directions you could go. Semi hair metal, I guess. I mean, you heard Hunter's Moon. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's in, mm-hmm. and that's on the album. Mm-hmm. Which that song's grown on me. <laughs> okay. Go on. I, I'm liking the new album. Okay. There's one song on it I don't like. Right. A song called Twenties. I think the fucking lyrics are stupid and the chorus is annoying. Okay. But the rest of the album, really digging. Also, just finally listened to the whole Ice Nine Kills album, mm-hmm. um, which um, is really growing on me, too. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and I saw them in concert, mm-hmm. open for uh, Metallica in Vegas, and that, that was fucking awesome. That was a great show. That was a great show. And that Greta Van Fleet also mm. played. I like them. Didn't care for them. No? No. Mm. Was, was, was yeah, yeah. Oh. Jamie loves them. Because uh. she texted me. She texted me, I, I posted about the concert, and I said, you know, blah, 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 Ice Nine Kills, and she, she texted me something, and then she texted again, by the way, I love Greta Van Fleet. So she, I'm like, <laughs> oh, she... I knew that about her. Oh. How did I know that? I think I was playing it in the trailer or something oh. one day. She digs them. Um, I saw your buddy, our buddy, uh, Count D's show on Gibson TV. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. He asked I, me to be on it. it. I watched it. Yeah. It's I was, good. Yeah? Yeah, I really, really liked it. Uh, uh, it's called Metals, Metal and Monsters. Yes. Uh, and it's yeah. it's really good. I enjoyed it. I expected something, and I got kind of what I expected. But I will say this. What's great about it mm-hmm. is unlike most shows of that uh, that would be of that nature, it's not yeah. immature. Yeah. It's, like it's, our show is. It's like our show. It's very <laughs> tastefully done. It takes mm-hmm. it very. It respects everything that it's talking about, both mm-hmm. the, in the horror and the metal scene. Um, uh, it's got a good interview with Robert Englund and uh, Don Dawkin. Yeah, I believe it is. And uh, uh, it, Maybe he's, he's got these cool little segments, and he he throws in the the Kiss Me Go commercial here. Mm-hmm. And he does that. You know, it's. It's it's cool. It's it's nostalgic and it's. I mean, kiss. Inter- that's yeah. the name. Yeah. Kiss. They may look insane. Kiss. It's kiss. If rock's your game, it's kiss. <laughs> Where jeans up. Yeah. Sta- on a standing on his head for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, but it's a good show. Uh, you guys should check it out. It's a mixture of music and and monsters, which is. And it's on Gibson yeah. TV. It's on Gibson TV. Maybe that's why I haven't uh, seen it. I've never watched you can Gibson TV. Just go to YouTube. And check it out. Okay, I will. I'm definitely. I'll watch it tonight. Uh, it's good. I enjoyed it, and I texted him and was like, "It's a really good show. You should be proud of yourself. It's really well done." Mm-hmm. Uh, Got to take it easy on the edits, but uh, it's it's really well done. I enjoyed it, and uh, he was he was also saying something like, "You should come on the show. We should do a thing." I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, he had mentioned wanting to film something here, mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I said, "Yeah, I'm, let me know when." Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it sucks because like. They're playing. I know Haxons, his side band, and John Five are playing in Garden Grove. A weekend, I'm out of town, mm-hmm. 
And then Rob Zombie is playing at five points right by my house here with mm -hmm. Static X. Um, it's a, it's a Static X and uh, it's like a bunch of like 90s new metal type bands. It's, um, I can't remember the lineup. There's like four bands. Of, oh, Mudvayne mm -hmm. and one other band. And I was like, shit. And of course, weekend, I'm out of town. Sure. But I'm like fucking never home. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely got to check that show out. Oh, so, w one funny thing happened when I was at the uh, Metallica Ice Nine Kills concert. So I, uh, Spencer, the singer of Ice Nine Kills, had put me on the list. So we went to the will call and they gave us the tickets, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm walking around and I go up to like the first entrance and, you know, and they've got their scanner things. Right? There's these two ladies and, and I go, you know, and they're like, oh, hey, look at this. paper tickets. I haven't seen these yet. I was like, "Wow, it's really come to that!" Yeah. Like, I'm I'm the guy with it. I was stoked to have a paper ticket because right, I collect yeah. stubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hate the fact that we're going away from that. I agree. Yeah. But I just thought it would. The reaction was hilarious. Like, oh, like look at that! Like what? The newspaper. What's that? <laughs> oh, okay. The, this one, this this is funny. I was getting off a plane. It was like last weekend. I think I was getting off the plane in Cincinnati. Propellers. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those. <clears throat> getting off the plane in Cincinnati. The male stewardess or whatever you call it, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Sorry. The male flight attendant says to me, oh, hey, man. Hey, dug that DVD player. Really took me back. Because I was watching a DVD player. Oh. He's on that was he goes that DVD player took really really took me back. Right. I'm like really dude. Yeah. They still make them. If you go to Best Buy, they still sell fucking right. DVDs. Wait until I take my Viewmaster on the plane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> changing them. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I was like really, you know, okay. I don't know. I, I, am I that? Is it? Am I that old? Is it that? Is it, got, is it come to that? Don't ask me, man. You make fun of me being old all the time. Yes, you're old. Well, you're. I'm fortunately never going to be as old as you. You won't. No. But that means I get out of here before you. Yeah. Which is awesome. Well, which also means <laughs> I'm the one that doesn't have to go to your funeral. You can't skip mine, because you're going first, bro. Right. So I don't have to go to yours. Yeah, but but you I can but I can mine. I can skip yours and be a you dick. You can skip, and it. you won't know. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't go. I would go. I would go. I hate funerals, but I would. I, oh, I would go because there could be somebody famous there. You know, maybe I'd meet somebody, get a new client while I'm there. <laughs> yeah, it sucks about Chris. Hey, man, have you ever thought about doing conventions? Hey, man, what's up? You should come do conventions. <laughs> I was such a dick. That'd be awesome. I would. I would. I would be looking down or up. You'd be like, and going, motherfucker. Good for you, man. No, you would. Good you'd be you. like, you'd be you like, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, did you see what he just did? Beaker. Look yeah. At that. Beaker. There. Stinky Bear. What an asshole, right? Get JC over here. That's your dad. That's your, That's dad. your dad that That's did that. That's the dick move. Yeah, total dick move. Oh, I don't That's know. Is there anything else? Do we have anything else? Or are we wrapping this up? What else know. you got? What do you got? What's going on? Talk to me about something. I don't know. Well, when I was five. Where'd they touch you? Show me where. <laughs> In the bathing suit area. Um. I don't think I got anything else. I'm taking a little break. I'm going to take a little break. Oh, Gaslit's coming out. I'm going to plug Gaslit. What's Gaslit? The series on stars, I believe. It's zero with Sean Penn and Julie Roberts. Oh, is that the... Julie Roberts. Yeah, where's my Fast Time poster, by the way? How's that uh, coming along? It. How's I that coming it. along? I have it. Um, Long story. Nothing but uh, disappointments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming out, so check that out. Yeah. We did some cool makeups on that. Mm -hmm. um, Sean Penn and everybody else. Uh that's coming out. Um, I'm gonna, I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm going to do some day checking on some shows and stuff before I start the next big one, which is probably June-ish, I don't know, july mm -hmm. Maybe do some conventions coming up, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Possibly. Um, and, uh, yeah, just hanging out. Just hanging, just hanging, just living the dream. Yeah. Uh, we should do a, a we should, maybe our next one, we should do a live. You know, let the, live. let the peeps, let the peeps, yeah. like, interact I like know? to talk to you guys. I miss you guys. Yeah, no, we haven't yeah. seen our good friends like Colin Murdy. Woo! <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he looks like. He <laughs> he messaged me and said his... Colin I think Murdy! 
Randy. I think he said his girlfriend is coming to Steel City next weekend, oh. and she wants to say hi. But isn't but he's why? he's not coming. He's not coming. Why isn't he coming, man? Oh no, I don't know what the lad's doing. That's a bunch of horror shit, man. He should know that right. There's a hula hands right across the street there's from the a convention. Hula hands, <laughs> a hula hands. <laughs> there is a hula hands is there? right across the street from the convention center. Why is his girlfriend coming and he's not? I don't know. That's yeah. weird. Check, come see me. You know. Um, yeah, the chicks dig me. Why ain't I at Steel City? I'm gonna bring this up. I'm from Pittsburgh. Why would they not want to have a native? Why would they want you back? Successful guy. Why would they want you coming back? They got rid of you already. That's true. No, I want you to go to that. I do. Um, but Call they they Andy. they do three shows a year, so there's plenty of opportunities. Okay, we're gonna just, get you there. I can't stop staring at your Kiss face makeup kit, and you have three of them, and I want one. Would you sell me one of those? No, because all three are Thank different. You. There's three variations. Oh. You got to have all variations. Fuck. John Five would be ashamed if I was to sell one of those. Got to have all for, care about all three John versions. Five I do. He's he's become like the the keeper of the kiss. All right. He's like he's well, what? If you ever see one, let me know because I want one. I think there was one on eBay right now. How much did they go for? Uh, last I saw it was at like thirteen hundred. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, that's ridiculous. That's why you're never you gonna get I one. Do. I can go buy a whole guitar for that. <laughs> And play it ever. I got nothing else. You got nothing. I'm done. You done? We're okay. done. Um, oh, there was something I wanted to say. You, oh. made, you made me think of something. I'm sorry. I got something to say. Call him Marty. I saw Call him Marty today. Doesn't matter what much to me. I don't know. Um, but no, I was going to say, yeah. It, uh, What's Colin Marty's girlfriend's name? Is it like I don't know. Susan Flaherty. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> Patricia O'Hallahan. I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. Song, Patty. Patty something. I think they're Scottish, um, aren't they? Are they Irish? I don't know what they are. I'm sorry. Tom. They're good people. I that's all you, I know. I love you, buddy. They're good people. And that's all that matters. Yes, yeah, so we should do a live show. We should do a live. Next. And, and oh, have a guest. oh, guests, guests. No, we 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 do. You know, I forgot to tell you this. Tommy Lee Wallace wants to come on the show. Oh, that'd be lovely. He wants to come on and talk about he's uh, doing a new book. Uh, on Halloween three about like the making of the film and oh and, I, ooh, that's yeah, exciting yeah, I like yeah. That. Mm. yeah yeah okay so he wants to come and talk about that let's and that. um oh let's do that oh let's do that I like um, it spooky sp- okay <laughs> um so yeah so I know uh like I told you Carmela McNeil's been been after me to get her on the show we got to bring her on because she's she's awesome and uh she has stories she wants to tell that she's been saving she said she's been saving them for us mm. um and then there's a very special a lady who uh who might be coming on at some point it's my mom and it's it's his mom <laughs> no it's not my mom um and so yeah we got some we, we, if we could actually get stuff our shit to together yeah. to to do more of these, yeah. we, we got some good stuff that could happen. Good stuff that could happen. Good stuff. I want to give stuff away. I want to give something away to the oh, fans. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Boom. He just hit me. Did you see that? He hit me. Look at that. This uh, thing with it, two it heads. I, well, it's got to be plugged Turn it in. On. It's Turn not, it on. It's not plugged Turn in. Turn it on. Oh. But it lights up, and it's a, it's a pumpkin, and Ian, yeah. Ian uh, from Ian's, Ian's Pumpkins... Pumpkins. Uh, he made this, and we're going to give it away. Um, we got to figure out how. So on the live show, we will figure out a way yeah. to gift this to one of you guys. Yeah. And I want to do some fan appreciation for you guys sticking around with us all this time. Yeah. And in and between actually, these long stints of not doing shows and stuff. The odds of us actually doing this again in the same room, not as good as you know as the way we normally do it. Um, Why not? Eh, we're not really at each other's houses that often. No, we're not. But we could be. <clears throat> but so I was thinking I should probably have you sign it. Oh. Because that way I now don't have ev- to. Now everyone out there is going. Oh, they're going to ruin it. They're going to. Well, it. no. The good thing I can tell you with black sharpie how to easily remove it if you want it off. There you go. Um, but yeah, you should sign it that way. After we give it away, okay. I don't have to bring it to you to sign it there and then know. ship it. Right. Correct. Yes, we'll give so. that away. What else should we give away? Give something else. We'll um, give something special away. 
This is special. It is special. Very special. This is Something special. Something else that's special. I don't know. How about how about uh, one of these? Do you have an extra one of those you I could give can, away? Oh yeah. I don't know how many various sizes I have. That's the trick. You gotta have a bunch of fat guy ones though. I don't. Just in I case gave you them away you a lot really of fat guys on the court. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I yeah oh, maybe we'll give so, away one of these. Something like that. I, um, most people that want it probably don't want to wear it. They just want to collect it. So maybe. And yeah. we'll find some stuff, some cool something like something. that. Or I'll find some, you know, a screen use mask, or maybe a screen use mask. <laughs> no, no, definitely not a screen use. I thought about, I thought about doing a rehaul for someone, but don't even start. Don't even, even start, start the start rumors, that. bro. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. I don't even, I don't even want to deal with the emails. You know, I don't want to deal with the the text messages and the nonsense. Uh, oh. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll get... alive with a guest would be the way to go, I think, for our next shit rig. Um, well, if we're gonna do that, we should probably, you know, bring on a regular. You know, we could should have Norman come back. He was great, Norman Cabrera. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'd like to come back. You know, Nick Castle always likes to stop by. Always. Uncle Nick always comes to check on us and make sure his kids are doing good. Mm -hmm. You know. I love Uncle Nick. Um. I'll see Nick next weekend at Steel City Comic Con. Oh, there you go. He's going. So we're not doing it next weekend. It's Well, or we could, and I'll have Nick with me. <gasps> wow. Would you do it via hotel? We you guys are going to be so busy at that. Well, thing, we know. could do it on the iPad. I, I, she, oh. she, right? Can't she do it through there? Sure. Can I do, yeah. Just need to d download the Zoom, Zoom. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then join your account. And, uh, and then back, back, back. Or I could do it from the Buffalo Bill House. Oh. That'd be kind of fun. I don't yeah. remember how good or the Wi-Fi during was during the week, or when I get home. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure something. We're out. gonna do something nice and fun and special. Nice, fun, special. Nice and fun and special. Uh, yeah. This was fun. Yeah, I had a good time. It was, it was nice good. To, out. It was good to see you. It's good to see you. It's good to be seen. It's good to period. Be seen. We should get some food. I get I'm, out. Of, I'm hungry. I step out of bed and step in gold. <laughs> what, the, what, what is that about? No <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, screw these guys. Get yeah. Some food. No. Yeah. Um, thank you guys. Yes, as always. Thank you for tuning in, yes. watching, putting up with us, and uh, we appreciate you guys hanging with us while we had our little uh, uh, busy spell. What, what what do you call that? Hiatus. hiatus. Little hiatus as. As you know, he's trying to make movies that you guys love. I'm trying to bring the people from those movies that you guys love out to meet you guys. We're busy. We're busy. It's all fan service. All Everything fan we service. do is because of you guys. Everything. You might take a shit. It's because of you guys. Because you've, you know, right. in some way helped with that. <laughs> I don't know. Just be good to each other. Be yeah. kind. Be Punch cool. a stranger. Be cool with each other, would yeah. you? Just Punch a stranger. I know it's hard out there. I know there's a lot of tension going on, a lot of crazy shit going on. Just fucking take it easy. Watch movie, eat your popcorn, relax. It'll be okay. Okay. Or not. No, that, that sounds good. Yeah. I'll, 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 you yeah. get on board with that? Yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. All right. I'm don't good. punch a stranger for just a couple just days. Don't. Just, just don't. Give it a, just take a vacation from that for yeah. a day or two. Yeah. But come back. We're going to come back live. Uh, and have some guests and do some fun shit. Yeah, maybe next weekend. Maybe. No, not no, not next week. The weekend after. Weekend after that. So because I am home that weekend. Okay. So. Very good. So maybe let's let's call it now. What would that be? What would the date be? I don't. Well, you, you got a phone. <laughs> so next weekend is the. Like not, it would be like the weekend of like. Let the, me put my old man glasses on. Weekend old of like Nelson. the fifteenth. Is that, that is the fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. Okay, so what should we do it? Like Friday night or Saturday night? Are we doing it together or just... To... Well, I mean, you'll be on Zoom. I'll be on Zoom. We don't have oh, to be okay. in the same place. We do it Friday night. Maybe fr Friday the 15th. Friday the 15th. Devil times five. <clears throat> yeah, maybe Friday the 15th. We'll figure it out. Okay. So pencil that in to your schedules. Friday the 15th. The shit is going to go down. Just sorry. Two head style. Yeah. And hey, remember, if you want free stickers, the stickers, wherever I got them. If you want some of these awesome stickers right here, these, and there's the new ones, wherever it is. Oh, yeah. If you want any of these stickers, just uh, s send a self addressed stamped envelope. 
to this address down here that's on the screen that I magically put here, and we will send you free stickers. Yeah. They're yeah, free. They're free. You can't beat you it. Can the put price. them on stuff. Put them on your lunchbox. You can put yeah. them on your car. You can put them yeah. on your dad's car. You can put them on your wife's car. Stick it on your flashlight. Put whatever you whatever you use. Whatever you want. Yeah. Anything. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Okay. That works. Boom. Hey guys, just want to jump in here real quick to remind you, our shirt store is up online, tpublic.com backslash user backslash malfunction. Go there, we got a bunch of new thing with who, we got a bunch of, <clears throat> come check it out, we got a bunch of thing with two head designs, all kinds of designs, more designs you know what to do with, Horror's Hollow Grounds designs. There's Hollywood's Holograms designs. You can get mugs, you can get shirts, you can get stickers, you can get a onesie for a baby. You can get a notebook. You can get a throw rug. You can get pretty much anything you want. So get on there. Tpublic.com backslash user backslash malfunction. <laughs>